Alright, so here we go with Split Second on the Xbox 360. This is a uh, pretty unique game. It, it had <clears throat> had a fair amount of buzz when it was coming out. Uh, I'm not sure how many people have played it or tried it or whatever, so I figured I'd upload it and kind of show it off a little bit. Pretty cool game. Uh, one that allows you to cause explosions during races. And there's a few different modes. We will show a, a race of each mode here. <clears throat> We're going to start off with the basic race. <clears throat> First thing you'll notice, I think it's kind of cool in this game, how uh, some of your your stats, like laps left or whatever, is actually right below where your car is. So instead of looking on the edges of the screen, it's like right there. You see that meter that's filling up underneath the car. That is, uh, you fill that up by doing things, kind of like if you've ever played the Burnout series of games, uh, drafting other drivers, uh, doing drifts, things like that. Uh, whenever you have at least one of those three sections filled, you can uh, cause some kind of an explosion or something to, uh, to vehicles in front of you. You know when you are able to, because you see those little, uh, when the blue things pop up above them, the little blue icons, uh, that indicates that they're by something that you can, uh, you can trigger. <clears throat> now another thing that's also cool here is not only can you cause those little ones, if you fill up your meter completely, then you can actually trigger a... Uh, All right, a little uh, hiccup in my uh, audio here because I had a phone call while I was recording that, so stop to take that back on here. Um, I think last I was mentioning was that little meter under the car. When you get it in the red position, you can do uh, more major explosions, and you can also change routes. Uh, each track has certain places where you can cause an explosion big enough to uh, completely change your route, and I did it right there. And this was back at the start finish line, and you see the bridge went out, so now we're driving underneath the bridge. <clears throat> and caused a wreck there, caused a double wreck, wreck myself. <clears throat> now, sometimes you can use those route changers to uh, destroy people ahead of you. Um, on this track in specific, there's a uh, there's the uh, control tower when you get down by the airfield area, the airstrip. And if you change routes on that one, the control tower will like fall down and then you'll be driving actually on like the runway and, and then someone else can cause a, uh, a major situation where a uh, plane comes crashing onto the runway that you have to avoid. <coughs> really cool. I mean, I, just, I do love the fact that you can cause the explosion. When you're behind, you can catch up. When you're ahead, you need to be wary. In most cases, there, there is some kind of an audio or visual warning. Depending exactly where you're at, you may not always get out of the way, but you usually have at least an opportunity. Oh, and another thing I should mention, it had been a long time since I played this game, actually. Um, I just wanted to bust it out and show it because it is pretty cool. So uh, my driving skills in this video are not near what they were when I first had the game. I was playing it quite a bit. <clears throat> I'm sure that's true of anybody on any game. If you haven't played it in a few years, you're going to be a little bit rusty. I was surprised when I did the uh, ESPN NFL 2K video that I did as well as I did there. But then again, like I said, I did play a level lower than normally I, I would. So. I just think in, in racing game, drifting is one of the hardest things for me. I know it's easy for some people. It's I, I can never get that quite down. We'll take 
take you through all the different modes in this game. In the, uh, if you do the career mode, all the different modes pretty much come up. And Oh, another thing too is all the different tracks. Um, on this video that I'm doing, I pretty much stick with the downtown and the airport tracks. I'm just a little more familiar with them. And I am showing you the modes of play. Uh, but there's several other tracks to pick from or whatever. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go to Detonator. This is pretty much like a time trial mode. <clears throat> You're racing on the on the course by yourself, but all those little explosions that like you can cause, you know, and vehicles going across the road and stuff. All those explosions in this mode are act are actually automatically triggered. Uh, so it's more based on just where you're at on the track. And like I say, it's a, uh, a one-lap time trial. So there won't be the computer itself is the one triggering these explosions. <laughs> like that. <laughs> There's one that always gets me. I don't remember if this is the track that did it. There's a big, like, dump truck that'll back out from the left side. Right there it is. It'll back out into your way, and if you're not ready for it, that freaking thing gets me, like, half the time. Destruction there. Yeah, I think the soundtrack in the game is just really good. It, it seems to have background music that kind of builds the tension a little bit, you know, the, the kind of racing, the tension of it. <clears throat> I might start playing this game a little more again. It really is pretty fun. <laughs> a lot of fun if you're playing with another person or something, and of course you do an explosion or something that wipes them out. <laughs> Common thing is, you bastard! <laughs> There's decals on the car. You can uh, you can unlock different decals and like put them on the car. They're for like certain awards, kind of like in-game achievements, really. <clears throat> okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah, the uh, survival. Now this mode's a little bit different. This one, there's going to be these big, uh, big rigs driving around the track, dropping barrels behind them. And you get points by, you know, every time you pass the big rigs. You get points for each one you pass. <coughs> You've got to avoid the barrels that they throw behind them. The red barrels cause instant wreck. Um, you can... Uh, uh, you can revive yourself and, and keep racing as long as that timer is going. The thing is, once the timer hits zero, the next time you wreck, you're done. It, you, the, the race is over. So you have at least that much time. Uh, the blue barrels, they don't wipe you out. They don't wreck you, but they do uh, make you skid. So they can lead to a wreck. But the red ones instantly wipe out. And the other traffic, all the other cars, I think they're just pretty much they're just there to be a little bit of a distraction. But each time you pass the big rig, you get some points.
The game has some pretty good wipeouts in it, that's for sure. You know, it, it's if you like the Burnout series of games, there, there, yeah, this game you could say I mean, it's a different developer and everything, but yeah, you could you could see the relation between this game and like the Burnout game. Oh yeah, it looks like too, each time you pass a rig, you get a little extra time added on the clock. <clears throat> now we're in some death mode. Next wreck and it's over. And there it is. getting a drink there while the video was going oh wait oh airstrike this one's another real unique one got a big like military helicopter shooting missiles at you while you're racing that helicopter there now you'll see the uh, you see indicators come up on the screen right there approximately you know where as far as left and right on the road the missiles are gonna strike <coughs> so you can prepare a route um, as you progress, it goes from three missiles, four or five, you know, eventually you'll have waves of like seven missiles. If you get hit directly by one, it causes a wreck. If you hit the explosion as you're going by, you saw I did just a couple of them ago there, it, it'll make you skid a little bit, it'll make you out of control. And if, if you're out of control, and then you run into another explosion, that will count as a wreck. Makes it pretty tricky, trying, especially when you're going around corners. It was one track, and I forget which one it was. But when I was trying to do it in the career mode, and you had to beat like a target time. It was this one corner you have to drift around, pretty much. But I always had the missiles coming at me on that corner, and I just would always wipe out. One of them always got me. And you get more points for perfect waves where you don't even, you know, drive past the explosion or anything, but you're completely clean and get more points for that <clears throat> than near miss one. As you can see, it, jeez, it really starts shooting at you. Definitely a real unique mode. <clears throat> a lot of action. Always something going on. <laughs> you get your little breather period in between waves. Kind of collect yourself, but before you know it, here they come again. on a straightaway. So much easier to dodge. Not always easy per se, but easier. Doing 
doing a little better on this track than I anticipated being out of practice. <clears throat> Woo! Ah. Oh. Hey, that chop was just relentless. I never have figured out why he wants to shoot me so bad. Wow. <clears throat> and that's the game. We're gonna go to air revenge this is just like air strike with obviously a little difference on this one <clears throat> by dodging missiles by drifting doing jumps whatever you know you build up your meter you can deflect missiles back at the chopper and you're trying to knock the chopper out of the air on this one <clears throat> Being that I was a little out of practice and I forgot exactly how this mode worked, this will take me a little extra time than I anticipated. Also, you will see I did have an issue. Uh, there's several times where I'm trying to build up the uh, my meter all the way up to the red because if you if you deflect a missile back and you only uh, blue, it's kind of like a normal race where a blue explosion isn't as big, isn't as deadly. <coughs> You, know, you deflect it back and you only do so much damage. But if you get that meter filled all the way up to red, then you know you deflect it back, you do more damage. And you're gonna see on this several times I'm trying to build that meter back up to red, and I, I wreck. Every time you wreck, that meter goes back to nothing. Again, don't know why that chopper wants to blow you up so bad, but at least in this mode, you can fight back. <clears throat> See? Trying to get that meter up to red and deflect her back and correct. <clears throat> Trying to catch drifts wherever I can. Then I run into stuff. <clears throat> though this game it, it is pretty cool each, each mode is unique to itself <clears throat> and not like some games where essentially every race is the same it's just a slight different objective there's pretty radical different stuff going on in this one different modes I mean detonator and race obviously are very similar other than racing other drivers and not racing other drivers and uh, the one that we're about to do Eliminator, that's just like a race except uh, when that comes up, you'll, you know, it's, it's the old whoever's in last 
uh, whoever who, whoever is in last place is eliminated. <clears throat> uh, mix it up with this airstrike and air revenge and uh, survival mode. Pretty good variety. See, I get the meter filled up and I wreck. <clears throat> and it wasn't even a damn missile. I think I might have just got a little too excited. I'm like, yes, I got it filled. <laughs> Bam, let me wreck. <clears throat> Phil. Bam! Did some damage. Yeah, back when I was in practice on this game, and that, that helicopter would have been knocked out of the sky by now, especially at, at this difficulty on this stage. <coughs> that helicopter would have gone. One, one thing was out of practice on the driving and the physics, and the other thing was kind of out of practice on exactly how the mode works. You know, when I. Before I made the video, I just did like one basic race just to <clears throat> make sure I wasn't completely uh, going in, not warmed up at all. But when I clicked on this mode, I remembered what it was, but I forgot the details of exactly how it worked, so I was kind of relearning it as I recorded the video. We got one hit left on it. On this one, I am just going to get it until I can deflect it any missile and take care of business. And of course, wrecking is not going to help. Finally. <clears throat> I had my struggles on that one, that's for sure. Now we get to Illumination. I guess uh, this is the old classic uh, Whoever's in last place gets eliminated. Now, some games do it per lap. At the end of a lap, you're eliminated. This game goes on a timer. So whenever the timer hits zero, last place, you're out. And you'll see that timer at the top of the screen. Timer's counting down. Do not want to be in last place. Other than that, normal race rules apply as far as uh, making things blow up and whatever. Thirty seconds elimination. Sometimes when I play, I, I like to, uh, like if I'm in second or something, 
there's a lot of times I'll just let my meter fill. I'm like, I'm good, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not on the last lap yet, whatever. And then sometimes I just get that ah. Sometimes I just get that crazy hair where it's just like, you know what, I see you in front of me and screw you, I just want to blow you up. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, typically, though, if, if I am saving it and I do get the red meter filled up, when I get to change routes, nine times out of ten, I'll do it. Those are just fun. Let's see, now we only get 20 seconds to the next elimination. Well, I guess I didn't decide to change routes. On that. I either chose not to, or I just didn't think about it. Right now. I think I'm saving it for the uh, uh, control tower. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Here comes that control tower coming down. That looks freaking awesome. Triple wreck. Rawr. <laughs> now, now someone else triggered the big one. Like I said uh, earlier, a, uh, a plane would come crash landing onto it and you gotta kinda dodge it and the, the wing it's kinda touching on the side. You can go underneath, you know, between the body of the plane and the wing, but you have to be like right in the middle there. Definitely is pretty crazy. <clears throat> and now I'm ready. So that's a look at split second on the Xbox 360. Pretty fun little game. Like I said, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't played it uh, as, as much in recent times as I have before, but there you go.